Eric Pauly from the Gold Sheet here, and today I'm breaking down the Detroit Tigers headed to Tampa Bay to start off a series with the Rays. Right now, the game line is set at about minus 105 each way, so essentially a PK. Make sure to shop around and find the best price. And the over-under is 7, but it's juiced a little bit to the over. Before I get into it, I have two best bets. I want to remind everybody that on wagertalk.com, the Gold Sheet MLB stat sheet is entirely free. Breakdowns of every single team and some advanced metrics of their stats over the last couple of days. Bullpen notes, as well as Nerfy and Yurfy first run results for both teams. So that is for free at wagertalk.com. But I have two best bets for this game. I'm going to start out focusing on the Detroit Star- Tigers starting pitcher, Tariq Skubal. Now, Skubal is a becoming a household name. He's a young pitcher coming off an amazing season last year when he finally came back from injury. And right now, not striking out a ton of batters. But today, I like Tariq Skubal over six and a half strikeouts, plus money at FanDuel. I saw it at plus 115 earlier. Now, Skubal, like I mentioned, has not had the success striking out batters. only has one nine strikeout game. The other three games he started this year has gone under this number. But looking at Skubal's advanced metrics, right now he's 20th in the MLB in swing strike rate, meaning he's getting a lot of people to whiff at his pitches. And he's also number one of qualified starters in first pitch strike rate, meaning that the first offering he's throwing, he's getting over for a strike, which is huge for hitting strikeout props. Now, looking at the Tampa Bay Rays, now this year's Rays team is not as good as last year's, and one of their biggest issues so far has been whiffing. They're seventh in the MLB in whiff rate, and against left-handed pitchers, they're seventh in the majors in strikeout rate. Now, looking at the Rays' last start against a left-handed starter on Saturday, Nestor, because of the Yankees, Cortez rung up nine Tampa Bay Rays in that matchup, and then you have a guy like Scooble pitching, who is a much more strikeout dominant pitcher. Looking at some of Scooble's more metrics, and the reason this is going to bring to our next bet, which is going to be the Detroit Tigers on the money line, is right handed batters are hitting just 155 against Tariq Scooble, and lefties in a small sample, not much more success, batting just 214. Now, flipping it over to the other side, Zach Littell is going for the Rays, and this is a reliever turned starter, and he's had a good start so far. But looking at some of his advanced metrics, right handed batters are batting 291 against him. Now, this Detroit Tigers offense is not one of the better offenses in baseball. They are a little stagnant. However, they come alive mostly in the 8th and ninth inning, and that's where they do most of their damage. They're kind of the comeback kids so far this season. And that pairs very well with the Rays bullpen, who has been the worst bullpen by a ton of different advanced metrics so far this season. A lot of ton of hits, walks, and earned runs. And the way that the Tigers are producing runs later in games, pair that with the advantage they have at the starting pitching as well as the advantage I have over the Tampa Bay Rays bullpen. And we like the Detroit Tigers to win outright today in Tampa Bay. And pair that with Tariq Skubal of the Tigers to have over six and a half strikeouts today in Tampa Bay. Again, reminder, like the video if you enjoy, subscribe to the channel, and wagertalk.com, the gold sheet, a free daily MLB stat sheet, absolutely free, to help you with your handicapping of Major League Baseball. I'm Eric Pollock from the Gold Sheet. I'll see you guys next time. Go Tigers.